Well, Hammy, thanks for joining me. Apologies, it's not quite a, a mellow bird's coffee, but will it do? <laughs> It'll do, it'll do, since you're treating me today, it'll do, it'll do fine. <laughs> Tatey was actually saying to me he's annoyed that you, right. you're sitting down with a coffee Aye. with me and not him. What's, no, what's going on there? I like to go and have a coffee with Rich, at least, <laughs> at least once a week, you know, and I like to get a catch-up, so I yeah. feel like I'm cheating on him a wee bit here. <laughs> but Hammy, you're, you're a busy man, of course, so yeah. talk to me, how are, how are things going? Yeah, they're going well, going well, thanks. Uh, constant, absolutely, 24 hours a day, but going well, we're continually looking to, to get better for ways to improve, um, you know, we've, we've created a good working environment, enjoyable environment, but um, we've also got a good team round about us as well, so the things are going well, yeah, it can always that, be better. Uh, well, you demand those standards I guess, yeah. but you, you quite rightly mentioned the team around you, you've got good people don't you, like Sir Clarkie who's supporting you here today, and yeah. <laughs> Paul Bunn's good people don't you? Yeah, the great Clarkie, Paul, got a few others. Um, uh, David's actually my chauffeur today as well, so um, yeah, he's on call 24 hours, but you know, it's football, that's the way it is, um, so, but it's been great so far, it's, it is demanding, but it's worthwhile. And you've got, like, from the team of course to the, to the kids that you're working with, you've yeah. seen have a good crop as well, Hannah, yeah. that, are, that are pushing through, you must be excited. Yeah, we've got a good, good group of boys, we sent a few boys in in the summer that are doing well, um, but we've got, um, we've got some talent in there for sure. Um, you know, I think we're talking about the, the under 13s goal, yeah. 2016 goal for the weekend. You know, it's, it's almost a weekly occasion for them. So it's good to you know be able to share that with some of the some of the guys online for social media and stuff like that. Um, and hopefully, as I said, in the next few years we can get them in. You know, get them exposed to Fir Park, get them in the, in the first team. That's a yeah. that's a plan. That's a dream. How does that make you feel, Hammy, knowing that you're playing such a big role in, in that future of the club? It must be something that really excites you. It's great. Moment. It's great. Even seeing Alan and. Chris Gadden doing so well last night, playing well, you know, we liked, you know, great role models for the club, great role models for the academy, you know, the great guys, great great ambition, great attitude first and foremost, you know, so these guys are great role models for, for the for the younger lads and they've been up a couple of times speaking to our young kids as well, so so it's great. And you're dealing with good people as well, like like yeah. that. And you see these lads, you yourself coming through the academy, yeah. people that just know what the club's about, know that that sort of importance. Yeah, of and, and before you know it, that's you. You know, yeah. if you ask Alan and Chris, you know, they feel like it was only yesterday they were in the in the academy. So it, time flies, and um, we just need to make sure we're preparing them as best we can. And then when they get there, they go and work hard, but they also go and enjoy it as well. I asked you this when you first got appointed in the role, Hammy, but a guy with your experience that's come through, been there, sort of done that. Do you? You obviously know how important that is for these kids to kind of look to, and, and yourself and Clarkie in particular. Yeah, it's good to you know be able to have that message. We, we were there. It doesn't seem that long ago. We were there in their shoes, um, and it's good to have that experience, know what they're about to go through. Of course, the game's changed since then, but to have that knowledge and pass them on, and you know be there for them, have that personal touch with each of these kids that come through. Um, it's hopefully going to be a valuable uh, lesson for them to, to learn. Um, as I said, we've got a lot of good boys in at the club just now. We've got a lot of boys coming through that, that hopefully the, the fans will get to know and I'm, sh I'm sure there'll be a few household names in there uh, within the next few years. How did you deal with it? Uh, because obviously you went from playing to a role like that and it was yeah. a quick transition. Not a lot of yeah, people would be able to deal with that the way that you mm -hmm. have. You felt you've taken it in your stride. Yeah, I was in. I was involved in the academy for a few years before I came in, um, so I knew what it was, just, what was in, what I would, what I would change, you know, what the good, good points were, and where I thought needed a bit of work. But I still miss it. I still miss going and playing. I still miss coming in every day with the boys and training. I go in and see them as much as I can. I will meet with some of the lads and have a coffee now and again. Keep, keep buzzing in and about the place. I'll go in and annoy the kit man. You guys, I like to come in and pester you guys as well. Speak to the staff, the manager. Um, actually played, been playing seven asides with Keith Lasley recently as well, yep. so <laughs> trying to keep the fitness up that way. Um, so I like to like to keep myself involved. And Laz like to have a wee a wee mention about your performance at Sevens. Harvey, this is maybe your chance to hit back. No, but, but I mean, my performance has been speaking for themselves. <laughs> I think that team maybe is running lost like eight games in a row, and then I've come in the last two weeks and. We've, We've won twice, so you know. We'll that. maybe get you guys in the video. Yeah, you can make your own opinion, right? Anyway. But no, it's good to get it's good to get a touch of the ball again. I've, I've been to a few of the first team games, and you know the atmosphere, the environment. I remember it was a Rangers game we went to recently. I was sitting with David Clarkson. I was like, I miss it. I miss it. But you would miss it no matter what age. I'd imagine when I'm 50, I'll still be sitting there saying I miss it. So 
it's good that the boys are, are kicking on and doing well and you know, I'll, I'll always be there yeah, supporting them. And of course when the playing days do come down I guess the role that you're in is the ideal one to be able to be playing such a big part in the future of the club. Yeah, as, as I said, they keep reiterating it, we're always looking to improve, we're always trying to get better, we're trying to get you know these boys through out and you know, see how well Stevie Craig and his team's doing again this season, which is no surprise. You know, let's, hopefully in the next year or so we can see a lot of these boys really, really yeah. taking taking the first team by storm. That's yeah. a, that's a, that's the plan. That's it. Well, Harry, I appreciate you sitting no. down with me. And yeah. Sorry, the coffee's gone a bit cold, mate. No, but that's fine. That. That's fine. But if you're paying, then I'm. Ah, uh, well. That's good. That'll I'll be a first. <laughs> no, it's nice to see you, mate. You thanks, too, mate. Thanks, thanks for your time. Lot, thanks, Lewis. Right,